So the next creature on our list for Scorched Earth, guys, is one of the most useful creatures you'll ever use. He can hold weapons, he can hold pickaxes, he can hold hatchets, he can literally hold it all. It is the Mantis. This creature is absolutely amazing. If you're struggling with your resources, the Mantis can help. He can gather stone, wood, thatch, fiber, everything, you name it this guy can get it and as well if you equip him with swords he is a brutal warrior to help fight with you so sit back guys relax let me show you how handy the mantis can be Sometimes you just gotta believe. What is going on guys? Welcome back. And today we're going after the Mantis. This is the creature I've been after for a while now. Or at least I've been wanting to tame for a while now. And I think it's time because I'm wanting to expand my base and go somewhere else. And I believe the Mantis is the guy to help me collect the materials so I can do that. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to need is the ghillie suit. Now this is going to keep us undetected by the mantis as we approach it. So it doesn't rip our faces off straight out the bat. So guys, first things first, we need the mantis saddle. And this can be unlocked at level 28. Where is it? There it is. Okay. And it's got quite a few things that you're going to need. But I'm sure we can gather that pretty easy. So you're going to need 70 fiber. 12 flint, 100 hide, 35 metal ingots, and 25 wood. Now, I've already got one of these. You can get them in a drop, guys, because this is where I got mine from. There we go. We've got it in a drop, so you can get it from there if you don't want to learn the engram. Now, once you've got your saddle and your ghillie suit, we're just going to be taking the taming food with us. And the favorite that they like is, of course, the death worm. If you watch my death worm video, this is why I was killing the death worms for their death worm horns just for the mantis so death worm horns is the best thing to use and last but not least we're going to take some bug repellent with us just so that we can get close enough to tame the mantis so when it comes to the location of the mantis they are very very common around the areas of scorched earth in the desert plains of scorched earth trust me guys you're not gonna miss them guys so i just made it out to the uh to the oasis part of the map and we've got one over the, it's gone behind that rock can it <laughs> we've got one over there oh there he is no nope, it's not him 100 level four i don't really want a level four i want to oh oh i'm dehydrating damn um so with with the uh mantis because they spawn quite a lot in this area o over around these well around the whole map we can be a little bit more pickier with uh, what we want. So it's not something we have to take the first one. Look, there we go. We've got 16 there. Um, and if we just keep going, look, we've got one right over there. What level are you? Eight. You can see, look, we've got a, we've got plenty of options. So you can be a bit more picky with these guys. But we've got another one over there. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the only problem is, is trying to clear this whole place out before... Uh, Okay. I'll say this is a big boy. There we go. Boom. Probably would should have bought like a uh, a tame with me just to kill a load of things. What's that? Oh, 112. You see what I mean? There we go. See, we don't like say we can we can be picky with these guys because there's so many of them. There we go. Let's load this back up. Right, I am going for it. I'm going to uh, place this in the last slot of your inventory. Take a bit of that. And then what we want to do is go behind this guy. I'm going to quickly drink that, that bug though, because I need it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to get my shotgun out just in case it turns and starts attacking me. This is a high level one, so I'm going to be happy with this if I can get it. 
have a quick bite to eat while I'm behind it. So you just want to slowly do this. Nice and behind it. Oh, it's a female. Boom, feed. Oh, yeah, look at that, 66. Get out of it. So now you can see, I can one more and we should be able to get it. Uh-oh. I thought I may have mucked up there, but no. So uh, let's have a look. I don't think they, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take before we feed it. I mean, we'll probably get that guy as well. That's, uh, that's a guy. We've got a female and stuff. Okay, so we've still got our big bug repellent. We've got 500 seconds. We've got ages with this, to be fair. And as long as you're crouched, you're, you're pretty fine. Oh, look how awesome these, these guys are. I've, ever since like, I see the this the Mantis, I've always wanted to tame one. And I've never, obviously, because I've been on the island for so long. And I thought you guys need to see my first time taming a man horse. And it's a high-level one as well. I can't believe we've got two high-level ones. Like I say, because they're very common around here, you can be picky with these guys. If you don't, if you don't want a high, a low level one, should I say? If you want a high level one, get one. If you don't want a high level one, you don't have to settle for a low level one. Because like I say, they just, they're just everywhere. I just need this guy to gal to stay still, so I can just see. I'm not hungry yet. Not hungry yet. Don't know how long. Where's, where's that other one? Though? Where's the other one? Is, is that let me let me uh let me put that on here a sec it is that's a level 100 male so i think i'm gonna get them both because i've got seven death weapons i've got i should have enough <gasps> wow feed yes we got it i was probably just spamming the feed button then oh my god yes oh yeah I've got to, I've got, to, I've just got to take it for a spin. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, geez. wrong button, but, oh, nice. Where's that, uh, where's, where's the other one gone? Is that it? Oh, the hell, he moves fast. Let me go after you, come after you. So we've got our level, uh, 167. Let's quickly try and get this one as well. I've got a male and a female. I should be able to breed them. And I do believe that this will probably tame it one. Or maybe two. Oh, so close. We're so close, but that's okay. Leave me alone. There we go. There we go. <gasps> oh, no. I guess I didn't need to worry about him anyway. This is like... A really high level. What the hell? Oh no, he's, he's going to attack something. Yo, you come over here with me. Come on. We've got to stay on this. No wonder they get around so quick. They just go attack everything. Is, that, is he attacking? He's attacking vultures. Oh no. Does that mean he's going to die? Oh my days. That's attracting a lot more attention than he probably wants. Yeah, he's probably gonna die. Damn! That was my uh, that was my chance. But okay. Okay, guys. So I've got level twenty-four here. I'm just gonna go and tame this and show you how easy. If you wanted a low level one, it's just literally one death worm horn. Oh, I've got. Uh, I need to put that there. And. Basically, slow walk next to it. Oh, no, it got me. Ah! Oh, no, it didn't even get... Oh, it won't even after me. Damn. To show you how easy. To show you how easy. To show you how easy. Okay, we've got level 40... 48, 48 or 46 female uh, male here, so I just want to get this guy. So, like I say, I'll show you how to do it. Just slowly walk up to it. No! Ah, oh, forgot it's following me. <laughs> F 
stop following me. You're giving me away here, man. Right, there we go. We've got level 48 male. Oh, I can't use the book repellent. I'm going to try and... He... Nope. Ah, it got me down. My give up. My give up. So the first thing, we're looking at the speed of the Mantis. As you can see, the walking speed is about average. Obviously, we're not expecting it to be too fast. But then when we move into the sprinting, you can see that we have a massive sprinting. And it's pretty darn good, actually. I really like the speed of it. It's not amazing, but it is pretty fast. It's a bug, so obviously it moves quite fast like bugs do. Next, we're looking at the stamina. And you can see it's pretty slow at draining. I quite like the stamina. It's very evened out, so it's not too fast. But his stamina is nice at decreasing. It's very slow. So this makes traveling around pretty darn good with the Mantis. So the Mantis has two attacks. The first one is what you'd expect. He uses his giant claws to whack you with. And it does cause a little bit of a pushback. Now this attack is nice and fast. So it deals not as much damage as you'd like. But it, because it's fast, it will cause damage over time. The next one's a lunge attack, which you can use to get distance on the creatures you're attacking. Hey yo, what the? So the good thing about the mantis is these attacks can actually be amplified. So all we need to do is go into the mantis's inventory and literally place in a sword. God, whoa, look at the sword. 300. It's got a 320 ascendant sword. And if we look now, we got two of them. So let's go see how much of a difference this makes now. The quality of the weapon obviously also does make it whether it's better or not. So it's not just swords that we use as well. We can use our pipe, for example. Nah, that looks badass, especially with that skin on. Let's go see how well these do. Now, when it comes to gathering, these guys are awesome at collecting fiber. They're also great at gathering silk as well. As you can see, we're collecting silk from the purple flowers, which is very handy. Now, of course, as well as amplifying their ability to destroy creatures, we also have the ability to harvest as well. So we can put sickles on them. And as you can see, look how badass he looks now. And we can now gather more of uh, fiber and silk using the sickles. So as you can see, guys, we can't harvest any stone or anything like that. Nor can we harvest wood or thatch. Just fiber and silk. But again, we can equip it with some equipment. So if we give it some pickaxe, we can then go ahead and harvest whatever we want. So here we have a stone. We can get stone, flint, sand from this. Also great for harvesting metal. If you've got any metal nodes around, we can harvest them. And there we go, guys. We've got a metal node. We've got our pickaxes equipped. Boom, look at that. One sweep. Boom. Two sweeps. And we've managed to get 141 metal. This guy is definitely going to help us. And of course, same again. We could get thatch, wood, and sap from trees. And if we switch out the pickaxe for the hatchet, obviously we get more stone than flint when we break rocks and more wood than thatch when we break trees. I'm sorry, Jugbug. Now, not only can the mantis help us harvest things, it can also help us kill things, but it also can help us knock things out. So if we get a club, place it in i'm just gonna say how cool would it be if we could place a shotgun in there and just have a try let me just have a ah oh, that would have been awesome though guys anyway back to uh the club so if we place the club in you can see look at that we've got some drumsticks now and this is going to be awesome to help us knock creatures out so we've got a parasaur here boom there we go look at that one lunge and a punch and we got him down that would normally take us a long time, but not with this guy. Let's try it again with this one. Booyah, look at that. We're just 
Taking them out. Let's take them both. There we go. Look, we've got the moss chop down. Where are you going? There we go. Look at that. Look how easy it is to knock creatures out using the good old club in the hands of a mantis. That is absolutely insane. Try and get a, a kangaroo. Procoptodon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. No need to worry. No need No need for bowlers or out. Boom. Look at that. What level are you? Level 4. I mean, they are low levels, but it doesn't matter. We'll take them all. What the? Look at that. Down he goes. What'd you say? Boom. Look at that. Ah, oh, broke me. I broke me sticks. Now, the mantis can harvest meat and hide, but once you've got a pickaxe or a hatchet on, though, we will be getting more than that. So, guys, that has been it for me and my mantis. I'm not going to lie, this guy is probably one of the most useful mounts in the entire game. Like, how handy is this guy? I am loving it. But don't forget, guys, if you did like the video, like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out massively. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video if you're still around. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic. But maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness. The anxious in